Hey what's up guys, welcome back, I'm EDC Connor and today I just wanted to give you a little update and answer a question I was asked about uh, solar watches and eco dry watches and Marcos Quintana Gil or Gil says I need your help, I want to buy a watch which is better Seiko uh, I need your help, I want to buy a watch which is better Seiko Solar or Citizen Eco Drive. I want to swim at the beach. Well, I think uh, the technology uh, behind the uh, Solar, Seiko Solar, and Citizen Eco Drive is the same. They're both solar powered, uh, Citizen Close, it's solar powered watches, Eco Drive, uh, and uh, Seiko could just close them solar but they are both powered by uh, natural light, even artificial light, sun power. There's a plate below the dial that uh, charges the capacitor and the watch works basically like a battery, car battery. Uh, it's only it's powered by solar, so it's a cool technology. Uh, I like the idea and I like these those watches a lot because of that solar power. I, I don't know why, but it's just cool and I, I kind of like it. And especially modern day solar watches, they can go on for a couple of months, I don't know, a lot of time without even being exposed to the sunlight. Uh, and they can also work on artificial light, so that's very cool. Uh, but uh, a <clears throat> big caveat here is that you want to, to swim with your watch at the beach. So uh, the question is for me is not whether you should buy Eco Drive or Seiko Solar, but whether you should you need to get a dive watch. You need to get a watch that's water resistant enough, preferably. Uh, 200 meter water resistance with the screw down crown like a diver sits and has some cool dive watches I will link you in the comment section down below uh, some Amazon link so you can check it out for yourself and specs and everything also uh, Seiko makes some great watches it's a makes great watches so basically what you need to do is to have a water resistant watch uh, with the screw down crown if you want to go to the beach and uh, make sure to rinse uh, your watch after swimming in the salt water because the salt and steel do not work well together uh, and uh, uh, rinse it with the mild water every time to give it a good rinse and on the tap uh, you don't need to use some detergents, just water is fine and rinse it and uh, uh, hopefully you will enjoy and have a great time at the beach. So <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Just a little short answer. And uh, I know some of you uh, like my updates, life updates. Uh, uh, it's not easy being away from your family. I can tell you that. So uh, that's one of the biggest aspects I underestimated. Uh, when I joined this, when I decided to do this endeavor, to this little experiment, as I like to call it, to move abroad to another country for work, for work I never done before, for work that uh, uh, I never done before in my life, I had no not much experience but i said i can do it uh if he can do it i can do it i will learn i'm not I'm not stupid i learned things and uh yeah or maybe i will put you some clips what i do here uh and uh just just to give you an idea uh work uh at the factory where they may we make houses those wooden houses not not the concrete and bricks european style houses but more american style houses so yeah uh when i first came here life was very tough very hard people at work were were 
weren't that great uh, people uh, where I was living. It was horrible. If I find a photo, I will also put you a photo where I was staying for like two months. It was horrible now. I moved a little bit here, closer to work. It's like five minute drive, which is great. Uh, it's a decent apartment. I showed you one of those. It's nothing fancy, but it's decent. It has everything you need to have. And uh, <clears throat> situation at work, uh, like I anticipated, I I learned things. I learned how to do things, and uh, I'm actually doing quite well. I, I'm actually uh, quite well at doing it, so uh, no issues there. And since I learned stuff, uh, there was no one to teach me. They basically the colleagues. Uh, weren't very uh, happy to see the new workers. They're always jealous, thinking that we have a bigger salary than them, and basically we have the same salary, but somehow they think we have have it better, uh, which is not true. Uh, we do. Th these are the local people here, but I, we need to pay the rent, pay the everything, and uh, the road trips back and home and forth, and uh, basically at the end of the day you what you have from your salary is peanuts but it's not the money i came here uh i came here to do try something to try to get um, i don't know it was a long-term plan but now uh thinking about it every day every minute i cannot really see myself living in this country um it's horrible, maybe because I don't have my family here, but uh, right now, as it is, I cannot see myself here. I see this only as a temporary solution. I'm not a quitter, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to stick it. Winter is coming, and uh, after the winter, there will be only uh, three months, and I will be on my second visa, and uh, yeah, maybe I will do some things differently and something different but yeah at the job uh, i no longer tolerate first month i was kind of keeping my head down uh do as i was told and whatnot but right now uh i fucked off all of those nasty people i was telling you about and uh i didn't i, I just don't and i don't want to i'm not a pushover and uh, I was just tolerating them for the first couple of months just just to fit in, to earn stuff, to try to earn something. Like in the Kill Bill, when, the, when she goes, uh, when Uma Thurman goes to that monster uh, on the Shaolin monks out there, Pai Mei, I think it's, his name is, and she, t she tolerates all sorts of crap in order to learn something and uh, right now I was tolerating and now I weren't and now I'm not I don't, I, I don't let anyone uh, disrespect me basically and uh, yeah that's one of the aspects that's good so I'm not, no longer complaining about the job and work and uh, it's actually it's quite fun to build shit uh, to be honest, uh, I never did this before in my life. Uh, I was always more, I never was a bull car job worker. I was working different things. And now it's kind of fun because you get that Bob the Builder feel and vibe. And I, I don't mind that. Um, uh, the salary is shit. And uh, the thing that's even more shit is that uh, you are away from your family and yeah, I miss my folks a lot. So, yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, you never know until you do something to try something. I read somewhere, I don't know where, someone said, uh, you need to take risks and don't be afraid to take risks because if you hit the jackpot, you hit big. You hit it big. And uh, if you if you fail, you will learn something and you will, you will become wise. So I didn't hit jackpot. I didn't become wise, but I think I did learn something. You live and learn every day. So you need to uh, find different things to 
Um, I'm not complaining here in this video, to be straight. I just, it's just hard. Everyone who has uh, moved somewhere to, for work and left its family, you know, it's hard. And uh, uh, only those people know how it is. And you can imagine that you know, but you do not know. It's the same thing when you get a, uh, when you get a child. Uh, when I first got my baby, I said, I, I, I don't know. And least I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about life. And uh, it's different. And uh, when I did not have a baby, when I did not have a child, I could only imagine, and I did, and I knew. But uh, only people with children know. They know uh, how, how it is and how you feel and what it's like. So, yeah. Uh, just a little Sunday update. Today I'm resting. Uh, and uh, I'm doing this little update. I just wanted to answer the questions for Marcos and to give you a little update. So, thank you, guys. Uh, do tell me. Uh, do you like the new Tudor? Uh, there are lots of new watches, but I did a reaction video to my Tudor and why so shiny. I like shiny watches. I am nothing against shiny watches. I like shiny Breitlings, shiny uh, Submariners, shiny, I don't know, but somehow Pelagos, Titanium, the matte finish of the Titanium, and I don't know. I can't wait to see it in person. So, yeah.